Esports and online gaming has become a huge and profitable industry, and for some, it's turned into a paying job. Well, our next guest is proof that girls got game too. Esports gamer Steph Harvey, also known as Miss Harvey, is here to share her story about what it's like as a female in the gaming world. Welcome, Steph. Hi. So what's it like being a girl in a male-dominated gaming world? How did you get started? I got started pretty young. Uh, I was fortunate that my parents never told me that I had to play with Barbies and whatnot, so I was kind of doing everything. So gaming was always part of my life. Uh, it was only a little bit later, I would say, in my teenage years that I realized not everyone was like that. I would say that about 15, 17 years ago. But today it's a completely different story and we want more women in games. Is this a full-time job for you or are you going to school or working outside of gaming? So it's my full-time job. Uh, it's been my full-time job for a little bit. I did my studies, have a bachelor in architecture. Oh, wow. I worked for game companies, developing games, but uh, it was always my passion to pursue competitive gaming and esports full time and that's what I'm doing now. Well that's so cool that you are able to do that. What is it that you like about esports? Do you, do you get a rush? Do you get a thrill every time you play? Well for me it's really I've done competition in sports. I've done competition in pretty much in dance and in a lot of high stakes environments and nothing compares to the rush and the adrenaline of competing in a video game. For me at least it felt like it feels like to be on top of the world and chasing all year long to be the best in the world into something. Uh, I've talked to many Olympians and it's, it's pretty similar the way they have to deal with their own sports. Yeah, I guess when you get that adrenaline pumping and if you're competitive. Now you're involved in a series called Supergirl Gamer Pro and in a male dominated world, it's great to hear about something like this. Can you tell us more? Yeah, absolutely. Well, there is, almost no women competing so we need at the moment to create small incubators and push women into safe spaces and with supergirl gamer pro that's exactly what we're trying to do uh during the next uh, now we're already at week number two so during the next seven weeks it's a total of nine weeks every weekend you can register to compete in three specific games so connor strike league of legend and hearthstone and the top four of these Cumulative weeks will make it to the final in San Diego at the surf event Supergirl Gamer Pro. Uh, it's been, uh, I think it's the fourth year that we're going to be doing this this event at the surf event, but it's the first time we're doing it online, so we're extremely excited for that. That's pretty cool. Now, who joins these competitions? Do you have to have a team to get in on the action? So it's pretty much anyone and everyone. If you are able to compete, if you have the and you want to join, let us know. There's a couple of ways that we can help you figure out how to find a team. You can also register solo in a game like Artstone. Um, and it's really to provide that kind of stepping stone into the competitive world for women. That's so awesome. I don't, I don't know that I could do it, but you're making it look <laughs> easy over there, Steph. Now, um, tell us more about the Supergirl Gamer Pro. What's the mission? Yeah, the mission is, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, but uh, it's important to focus on this. It's to create a safe space and also little, I want to say little steps at the bottom of the mountain because there's absolutely, I want to say very little game, female gamers and women at the top competing, but a lot of it is lack of numbers too. Like women really don't compete into video games. There's a lot of women playing, but that extra ship that they need to jump into competition seems like pretty difficult at the moment. So um, there's many ways that we can help that and push women to compete. But one of them, I like to say, is to create these kind of incubators where we celebrate women in gaming and where we push them uh, to play against each other so that they can figure out, yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, and yeah, absolutely. you get to do it on any stage after that. Yeah, give them the opportunity, provide that opportunity. What about advice then? Let's get some more young girls and women who want to get into esports and gaming. What the, what should they do? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that having a good support system, whether it's your family, your friends, uh, your parents, and always focus on your own tiny goal. It's easy to compare yourself to the best and be like, I'm not the best, but I, <laughs> it's actually not the point, right? The point is your journey what you need to get there and you're going to learn so much along the way a bunch of skills that you're going to be able to use in your real life as well 
Sounds good. Miss Harvey, thanks for joining us today. And you can find out more information about Girl Gamer Pro at uh, supergirlgamerpro.com.